On miał wtedy, ja wiem, po skończony rok czasu. He was about one year old, maybe a year and five months when I left. He was a small boy, running around. The flat was full of him. He was, how do you say in English, a lovely boy. Sometimes he was a bit naughty, but every child is. We did not have any problems with him. He was fat when he was small. I even remember we were making fun about the British milk. That was what was making him fat. In Poland, children do not look like that. He really was chubby. He looked like a little tomato when he was crawling. If people in school saw that he was taking food from the bins, they should have done something about that. Gone to Magda or to Mariusz and asked why the child was hungry. They should have sent the police or social services to check the situation at home, check what they were doing with the child. As far as I know, they just did nothing. I just saw in one newspaper that once somebody from school said Magda should go with Daniel to the doctor because the child was rapidly losing weight, and that's it. Of course they failed Daniel that nobody reacted on time. I'm not saying they're guilty, but I know they made a mistake. If they sent Magda to the hospital, why didn't she go? Journalists wrote in newspapers that she did not. I'm sure social services could have done more, the same with the school. If Magda had called me and said she couldn't cope with the child, I would have taken Daniel here to Poland for sure. They asked me about that in court. They told me that she claimed she wrote me messages about that, that she wanted me to take Daniel to Poland. But I never got a single message. If only I'd got it, I would have taken him for sure. We have two kids right now. We would have had three then, and Daniel would still be alive. When I got to know about everything, I had this feeling like somebody was smashing my head with a sledgehammer or like I fell down from a great height. I couldn't go to work, I couldn't do anything. It was like I wasn't really here, even though I was. If I could say something to Magda, I would tell her that I want her to spend the rest of her life in prison to rot, that I want her to suffer the same as Daniel had to suffer, to make her feel like she made him feel, and the same for her partner to make them not see daylight ever again.